was ordered not to say anything. I didn't. I, have... I didn't want for any of this to happen. I have no Who doubt. Who told you not to tell anything? Well, the only person I answer to, Brandon Stark. He told you not to answer any questions. Yeah, I'm, I'm not supposed to say what happened. I'm just supposed to. Tell everyone to move on, and I'm supposed to move on too. But I can't. I can't. I can't help feeling like it was my fault. I feel like I did this. <laughs> right? I didn't know what was going to happen. Okay? <laughs> I didn't. Yeah. No. That's totally understandable. So you were part of the trust of the king. Yeah, I was one of his servants. Oh, fuck. I don't even know if I'm supposed to tell you that. That sucks, man. I, I know. No, and I, I don't know where everyone else went, so there's no one else that understands. And I was. Fuck! And. How did you survive this? Hey, it's Jonah here, the dungeon master of this show. I just wanted to thank everyone for all of the support on episode one. This has been amazing. This is doing way better than I ever could have imagined. Please keep the support going, and without further ado, please enjoy episode two. <laughs> well, uh. I can't say. Jonah, how, how delirious does this man look? He looks pretty delirious. His eyes are all glassy. He looks like he's seen a ghost. Oh my god. Okay, I would like to cast Charm Person. Cast Charm Person? Yeah. Look, do I have to make a this open just a second? He has to make a wisdom saving throw, I think? Is yeah. that yeah. right? Wait, wait, Jonah, are my guards down there? Yes, they are listening to all of this. Unless you all want to send them out. I would like to, while I'm kind of, well, okay, I would like to turn around. Excuse me, um, this is not intended to be, like, offensive or anything, but I think we are going into a really sensitive discussion here. Would you mind to leave for a second? Uh, yes, Grandmeisters. And the guards, they will file out. Okay. Charm person? Yes. That is a nine on his so saving throw. Leave that fails. All right, Brian and Sarah, why don't you guys jump into a Discord call with me? Can I listen? Oh uh, yeah, you can roll the listen, Ella. <laughs> oh my gosh, she ain't even here, but she can roll the listen. She has spies all over the place, is what it is. Oh, yeah, that's true. None yeah, of them yeah. are actually her. All right. Oh, that makes sense. Yes. Um, that's an eleven, Jonah. 11? Let's see. That is not good enough. I'm sorry, Ella. Stinky. Um, actually, no. Sorry, that is good enough. Okay, awesome. All right. This is so fun. It's like I get, I get bonus campaign to listen to. You do get bonus campaign. Ella, with your spy listening, um, who is actually a prisoner in an adjoining cell. <laughs> <laughs> What a glorious life. <laughs> um, alright. Oh, he seems to calm down after you charm him, Sarah. And he is now charmed by you, so he will answer any of your questions. Everything is fine. Your answers are safe with me. You can believe me there. Tell me what happened. It was very strange. After we left the capital, Brandon started acting weird. Uh, I mean, like, more than normal. He, he he said he needed to meet with someone. To meet? To meet with someone. Did you it, say who he wanted to meet with? No, no, he wouldn't say. But And it wasn't just his sister, right? Uh, I don't know. I could have been what he meant. But that, that wasn't the weird part. Once we got out into the field, he said the person, the person would be coming soon. And that we all needed to go. And uh, we refused at first, but then he, no, he ordered us all to leave. He told us all to go, and he was very insistent. And so everybody started leaving, but, but I, I couldn't do it. I couldn't go. Oh, I hid. I'm not proud of it, but I stayed close. I wanted, I wanted to see what happened. And then suddenly the sky went dark. Everything, everything was so, so dark. And I heard Bran say, oh, oh, I knew you were coming. Or, or 
uh, it, it always should have been you. And then uh, it was so hot. It was so hot. All of a sudden, it was dark and it was hot and I, I started running. And I, I ran and ran until I collapsed. And then I woke up in here. Wow. Uh, Jonah, can I roll a history check to see if I, like, know anything about something that causes darkness in the sky and then just a shit ton of heat? You don't I mean, need to roll I history for I that at all, Brian. <laughs> that sounds like a dragon. <laughs> Wait, maybe so, maybe so so you were saying everybody else left yeah we all left everybody Should... else means everybody but the king everyone but the king brandon was the only one there where, where did, did they go, go? I, I don't know i don't know where everyone else went he told them to go and they did and and they just left well, even the king's guard. Even the king's guard. It was an order from the king we had to follow. Okay, so no, no, no. Everything everything is fine. This is uh, very disturbing. But, Wait, what was your position anyway? Oh, I was a stable boy. You were not part of the king's guard. Oh, okay, okay. Just a servant. And you promise me, on on the king's life, that everything that you're telling me is true. I like yes. to roll insight on, okay. on his response. Yeah. I mean, he's still really charmed, right? Yeah, he kind of can't lie, but maybe he is lying. Who knows? Uh, that's a that's a twelve. Um, well, it beats a seven. Um, <laughs> he is not lying. Okay. Um, if there's ever anything that I can do for you, just call for me. Yeah. All right. If you don't Thank die, you. I guess. <laughs> I'll, I'll try not to die. Everyone, this is your time to plot, your time to scheme. What are you doing? I feel like I need to go talk to my servant. Um, in oh, my yes. notebook, right? I've written, I've, I've, I've drawn him a little picture, and I'm, I'm gonna give it to him Aww. and tell him I'm thinking of him. Oh, that's very sweet. I just really? wanted to make sure I got him some gay so that yes. I could keep up with not just pretending that not I had a secret. That you had a secret. I'm very proud of you. Okay, let's head back. Um, yeah, Ella has can. poisoned everyone's food, and we're good to keep going. Uh, uh yeah. Well, you know what? Give, let me do, let me do some scheming. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's do some scheming. Oh, Bert. Me. Yes, a red woman has come <gasps> to the city. No. Yes. No. Yes. I'm arresting her. <laughs> She's been preaching to the common people about the Lord of Light. Okay. Yeah. I think I need to talk to the Master of Laws to try to try and make a law against outlaw. that. Outlaw. Outlaw the Lord of Light. Yes. Okay. Um, okay. Jonah, do you mind chatting with me? I would love to chat with you, Sarah. Can I listen to that? Yes, you can. A fourteen again. A fourteen again. Well, these are arbitrary numbers that I roll for every time, so yeah, come on in. <laughs> cool, thanks. Jenna, What's up? Um, first of all, has there anything come back from Sansa so far? No, not yet. Okay, Um. so then my second is, uh, my question is, can I set up a date with the Pyromancer? But I don't want people to know about it. Yeah, you can find the pyromancer. If anyone would know where he would be, it would be you. You walk into his like little shop down in Flea Bottom. Grandmeister, is that you? Uh, yeah, indeed, it is me. The old pyromancer kind of stumbles out. Can I, what can I do you for? So, um, looking for more medicines? I'm not. Yeah, I didn't think so. <laughs> so who's I have a spicy a spicy I have, request? <laughs> I have a very spicy request here. Ah. Um and I really don't know who if not you could help me with it. Um You'd like to buy more wildfire then? 
Yeah. Do you know of any other resources of wildfire in this entire kingdom? No, nobody else can make it but me. How sure are you about that? 100%. Mm-hmm. I, I mean, totally well, believe you. <laughs> I mean, well, okay, let's get one thing clear. I'm 100% sure that I'm the only person you can buy it from. Now, if you're honestly well, asking <laughs> if anyone else can make it, then most definitely. But you shouldn't go look into any of them because I have the best price. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what all of them say. Um, so I have another question. In your long, long life, have you ever seen dragon fire meet wildfire? No. Um, if you had to take a guess, who would win? Dragonfire. I mean, right, wait, um, I'm trying to sell something. Wildfire is <laughs> way stronger. Yeah, no. Uh, okay, I think you just lowered your price. Um, no. <laughs> yeah. Please. Um, okay, yeah, could we uh, please, or you... could I please get some more wildfire? Yeah, you got more money? Um, do I have money, Jonah? Um, you probably have like 10, 15 gold. I have like 10, right? Yeah. Um, so, listen here. I don't have any money on me. Oh, but, right. Um, I mean, Good we have made know. deals before, haven't we? Yeah, we make deals all the time. Yeah, um, I think it's time for that again. Oh, what kind of, kind of deal? Well, just as always, isn't there anything I can do for you? Well, <laughs> he like <laughs> blushes a little bit. I'm sure there's something you could do for me. <laughs> no, not again. <laughs> so are you whoring yourself out for wildfire? Um, I mean, I'm I... not. I, I mean, I'm not saying it won't work. <clears throat> Isn't there anything else that you might need that you're interested in? Mm, maybe a persuasion <laughs> check. Eighteen. Eighteen. Well, um, you know. I figure, and this is just my idea, maybe you're trying to become the new king or queen. Uh, yeah, I mean, and what, it was, maybe, what did you think why I wanted to buy wildfire? Yeah, well, that's exactly I what mean, I thought. Now, I think you got big plans. When okay. you become the new queen, the grand maester position's going to be open, isn't it? Oh, and I, I happen see where to you're know from. someone who is a quite skilled medic and lives in Flea Bodden right now and hates it. That person is me. Yeah. I would like to be the new Grand Maester if you should become Queen. What do you think? Good deal? Yeah, that's a great deal. Good deal. All right. How much wildfire do you need, honey? <laughs> How much do you have left? <laughs> he moves to the back and pulls aside this curtain. Oh lord, he has a lot of wildfire. I don't want to buy much for now. Just like um Okay, buy is a rich term here. Would you be fine with like getting me um just how much can fit into my bottle here and I just want to Oh yeah, like he'll it. he'll pour wildfire into your bottle. Now you be careful with that bottle, okay? You drop that, it's probably gonna explode. <laughs> uh, well, yeah, it has fur around it, so I'm going to be fine. No, okay. All right, you now have a wine skin full of wildfire, Sarah. While I'm here, can I have a conversation? Is it would it be crazy and weird metagaming to, for me to like talk as my character and ask Sarah why she's buying wildfire? Um, no, you can approach her about that because you're going like to hear to about that. this not at the pyromancy store but once she gets yeah. back yeah you'll have heard of it and you can confront her I'd like to approach Sarah where are we at the moment I don't know but I'm um, approaching Sarah. Sarah as you're getting back to the red keep you see the master of whispers strolling up to you <laughs> looking very pleased with himself and you just go ah fuck <laughs> Brian you've not gotten to do any scheming yet Yes, I would like to scheme, Jonah. All right, Ralevan. Can I roll to join? Yeah, you can. Mm, 17, Jonah. Come on, Ella, let's go. This is a pog moment. To go off what my allies like have thing. already schemed with you, which I'm assuming they've been doing what they've been doing. Yeah. But I, I'm, not, I'm not really sure about that. 
Um, also, Ella, I just said no to you just so then it doesn't look suspicious. I don't miss, I mean, I'm pretty sure they already know, but on the off chance that they're stupid. Um, so that's that's that. Oh, um, so are you guys an alliance? Yeah. Oh no. my god. No, no way. Knows. No yeah, it's pretty way. crazy. So what we're talking about, Jonah, is I, I will want to start pulling funding away from um uh the guards and from boats. Um, okay. Just just in general. Um what I'm thinking about doing, Ella, is sincerely taking something as small as like fifteen percent, which is still a fair bit. You know, it'll definitely just hurt them, but it's still like they'll still exist just fine. Um and once again, I'm I'm like I'm pretty sure that I can I can pull it off that it that, that money has to be taken because of the uh because of um, the extra cost of getting guards. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, because yeah, the extra cost of the guards and from and from all of that. I feel like that makes sense anyways. And they will and... learn of this. I'll, I'll tell them both. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, no, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah. Um, but just tell them that it's that it's because of the reason we just talked about, because of the festival and because of that. Yes. And it's not like they don't know already that we're coming for them. Like, yeah. it, there's not that much that, that we can do. They're really going to be like, wait, it. you're you're betraying us? Yeah, what? and like the, the only person that we have to keep that like the only person we have to make sure that he thinks is kind of legit is the tyranny guy. Tyranny? I don't really know. Tyrion. How to pronounce it. Yeah, Tyrion. If we if if like he's kind of like our metric of if we go too far and he's like, "What the fuck are y'all doing?" Then we're out. But as long as we can still justify it and make it make sense to him, then I think we're fine. Yeah. Okay. But what I want to do with that money that that we're taking, Jonah, I am tr going to try my very best. To take that money and also put it back into social services specifically for the people um my my thought process behind this is that i want the people to have start having a better quality of life and so when they start going and complaining about it they'll be like oh but like people like but we're having such a better time than we've ever had before and they want more funding for the military and for the boats oh. um so right. i don't want any of the funding to ever hurt any of of, of the individual people like payroll okay. stays yeah. exactly the same it has to come out of other things the people are not touched it's just everything else that they actually have okay. and own and control has, so the people won't be hurt at all you will not be able to take money out of the knights uh, out of the king's guard if you don't want to hurt the king's guard that will mean they start getting paid less they start getting fired their weapons and armor start getting shitter they start eating less their barracks get worse I feel like we can't we can't appease everybody, and we're gonna kind of kind of have to fuck over, over the. You're guards. gonna have to fuck over somebody. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna have to fuck over the guards. Are we good to go to the next day? Mm. Okay. Um. So a lot of things are gonna happen. A <laughs> lot of things happened last night. A lot of shit went down. Any any food I ate, Jonah, I want you to know that I kicked it like I said I would. Remember this? Yes, I know, I'm Ella. I know you are surviving anything, just off of water you get from the stream and, and from food you pick from the wild. I'm aware. I'm aware. I know. You're right. starting to get very hungry and a lot of your time is being taken up, <laughs> but you are not getting poisoned. <laughs> All right. Sam. I'm afraid of eating food in the uh, You yeah. wake up to the sound. <laughs> Captain. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Ah. Uh, Got a problem. Get up. Yeah. 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 What? What? What's the, what's the problem? Captain, wake up. Yeah. Yeah. Come, Hello. Come in. Come in. I'm gonna oh, uh, yeah. put on an overcoat over my boxers. Okay. What, what do you need? You're looking good, Captain. Very fit. <laughs> You're damn right, I am, Jeffrey. So you know that ship we sent out? Yeah, it didn't come yeah. back. Oh, mother... It should have been back last night. Mother... How far offshore is this? Oh, uh, it's not too far. We could get... It's like probably six hours sailing. It's so pretty close, honestly. And... Oh, no. Would you like to go check it out, sir? I'm okay. I think you should. You want to send wanna, I don't want to step away from the castle at this uh, time. Um, it's also, not exactly the, the safest place to leave alone. One other thing. Is it purposeful that our funding's been cut? What? We have significantly less money. Like, I don't... We can't afford to send another ship out with the amount of money we got right now. We were barely scraping by as it is. Hold tight here, then. Any Anything else? Nah, that's it, sir. It's just that we can't really afford to send another ship out there with the funding cuts. Yeah. Understandable. Alright. Alright. Bert! 
Yeah. <clears throat> Lord Commander, are you awake, sir? You may want to see this. All right. I'll be right out. No, you just I... need to look out your window. <laughs> okay, I look out my window. <laughs> Bert, there has been a giant pyre built outside of your quarters. You can see it on the ground floor below you. Pyre of what? Wood. What is a pyre? A pyre is a ceremonial fire typically used to burn people. Oh, cute! It has not been lit, and there appears to be no one on it, but the stake is there for someone to be tied to. I believe it's a pretty clear message. Well, I'm going to put my armor on, and then I'm going to angrily call a small council meeting. All right. You hit the button. (laughs) (laughs) All right. Um, I saw red. <gasps> I saw <laughs> red, is sus. red is so sus. <laughs> You're oh, so tired. Why are you calling it so early in the morning, Lord Commander? I have to say, it is quite early. <laughs> <laughs> All of you are you're in your PJs. You stumble into the small council room. Bert is fully in his armor, fresh, shaved, washed, ready to go. <laughs> the rest of you are just crawling out of bed, though. I do feel uncomfortable being the only woman here. Oh, that's okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> I'm, I'll be perfectly honest with you. Fiona's that would woman, not change. Yeah. It's not a it's not a lot of ways to, you know. Yeah. All right, all right. Get my sister um, over there. Yeah. <laughs> also, yeah, also you you're not the only woman. <laughs> okay, this is a, this this is an absolute <laughs> outrage. A pyre from religious zealots that are taking hold in the city are uh they built a a, a they threatened me. They built a, 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 a place to burn me, implying that they were going to burn me at the stake. This must be dealt with immediately. Bert, as you're talking, you just hear the pouring sound from Tyrion's side of the table as he pours himself one wine glass, two wine glass, three, and just sets the pitcher down, then changes his mind and just starts drinking from the pitcher. <laughs> I thought, that he, I thought that he wasn't able to drink that much. Now he's fucking out drinking me. <laughs> I also thought I wasn't going to be woken up this early. Do you have any idea well, who might have built the thing in front of your window, Lord Commander? I think it's very obvious. There aren't a lot of uh, people who burn people, Grand Masters. Oh, you're you referring have to the... Elliot? No, no, no. Sorry, you go. You go, you go. (laughs) No, my question was, do you have specific enemies? Like, specific people that might want to see you dead? We all have enemies in these religious insurgents into our capital city. What I've heard is that these, these religious zealots have so much gall as to imply that they would like to overthrow any king or queen that we may put in place to for some religious uh, alternative which is abhorrent i have to agree with you here one other issue i need to bring up to the council um i was recently informed this morning from my uh my sailors that my funding has been cut without my knowledge i would like to look at Ravelin. Or Rel- Ralevin? Ralevin? Ralevin. Dead in the eyes. Uh, yes, I, I, I did cut your funding. It was necessary to ensure that we would have the, uh, the proper festival for the king, as well as with all the new guards coming in. Listen, the fact that you did this without my knowledge, going behind my back, is just is sneaky. And I don't get why you needed to do this. Well, do keep in mind who you, who you work for now, son. <laughs> Calling him son? Damn. <laughs> well, I think I just want the other members of the council to understand that you went behind my back without asking me. 
and didn't even mention it to me beforehand, just so that they can maybe understand a little bit about where you're coming from. Because right now we're going to be weak on land because we're not going to have as many guards. And then you cut the sea funding so that we're going to be weak to any sort of sea invasion. Taking away my funding without my knowledge was cowardly and you went behind my back and that's unacceptable. And I just wanted the rest of the council to know what you did. Well, we uh, still set, haven't settled on the big question. Yes. Which one? The next Which... king or queen. Oh, we this one. We don't have one. a process uh, for figuring that out. We need yeah. to have a way to better represent the common, the commoners. Oh my god. Ah, no more no electoral got college. No more are electoral you, college. Are you thinking about inventing something that like includes the opinion of the people? Yes. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's that disgusting. Ha- that has to be wrong. What we could do though is give them a house that they could supposedly do something in. And it, they just do nothing. This is more Roman than American, but what we do, we just we just tell them that there's a peasant house and we peasant elect house. peasants to join it. And they can advise the king. King doesn't listen to them, never talks to them. They're there just to make the peasants feel like they are belonging. You know what I mean? That is not such a horrible idea. And then not such a horrible we idea. choose the nobles or we have the nobles vote like they did last time. How how will we conduct the vote? Well, Tyrion, how did it happen last time? Yeah, Tyrion. How did it Tyrion? happen last time? Oh, well, we got all of the favorite characters from the show together. <laughs> and uh-huh. I, I said that it should be Bran. And they all agreed with me. It was wonderful. And then Bran did great. But it was different then. Bran was the only one that could do it. He was perfect. He was perfect for the job. The people loved him. We loved him. I don't know if there's someone like that now. Maybe. Maybe. Just maybe. But I need another day. I need another day. What do you have in mind? I I don't want to spoil the surprise. She, he already talked about how uh, our uh, brother. Well, yeah, but I'm not sure that if that's like the one he's like referring to. That seems we're like two different options. Are we gonna talk to our brother? No, we we completely forgot about it. We should go and do that. We really should. <laughs> Extend a note or something. Yes, uh, Grand Maestress, I will write you a note, and can you please send it as soon as you can? Oh yes. It would be a pleasure to do so. My ravens have not been too busy lately. Jonah, I write up a note informing him of all the information he needs to know, and I ask for um, the Grand Maestress of, of Law's signature as well, if she would like to sign. Okay, well, I'm sure this will be another good day of everyone being nice to each other and not doing any plotting, and everyone being a big happy family. <laughs> mm-hmm. You know it. I, I, mean, I know, I know. a great job, but, like, the rest is fine. What'd you say? <laughs> the oh, fuck you just say to me, you little shit! <laughs> uh-huh. Is it, is you wanna say that to my time? face? <laughs> is it plotting time again, Jonah? It is plotting time! Who'd like to plot? Okay, Fiona. So, if you go away to Highgarden with Ralevit, then you're gonna be gone for at least six days. You kind of have someone in your basement who needs food and water. What are you going to do with him? I feel like bringing him with us would be dangerous. It might be, unless you want to reveal to Brian that you are harboring your, the two of yours brother, (laughs) who is a known criminal. And I mean, maybe Brian will be sympathetic to that. He is family, but... He is family, but I also don't know seconds. if he will be or not. You're right. But Very I true. can't tell anybody else to feed him. Can I? Can I just go out and like? Can I get a as bunch much of food, food and water as yeah. I can? Yeah, you can do that. Okay, that's what I want to do. Okay. All right, so in my mind, we're just kind of ch- Jay chilling on a carriage right now, going to go see our uh, brother. Yes. You know, Jade, it's it's nice to be able to take this trip with you. It's been a while since we've been able to just forget 
that we're kind of running a small nation of people. That's what I was thinking, and I, I'm I'm glad to go back home for maybe a day or two. Yes, it's been three. You you still have your horrible perception of time. I'm glad to see some things never change. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, my horrible perception of time. I'm just, I apologize for that. It'll be interesting going back to see brother. I mean, especially uh, since the passing of mother, it seems that a lot of a lot has has changed with him. Is he lonely without mom and dad? Do you think? I mean, how could you not be? I mean, it's a big estate, and we have many many wondrous people that live there. But <laughs> it's not family, you know. No, it'll never be family. And it will never really be exactly the same, especially with the with the name situation and how political how political it uh it, it became. I hope I hope that that doesn't sever a tie between us. I know that I chose a different path than the rest of us, but I did it for the people, you know. I wanted them to know that the Tyrell family still lives. Yes, we 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 would never hold that against you. I hope you know that. I think that I'm speaking from my from for myself as well. I'm I am nowhere close to being above this. But I think that a lot of people have lost sight of what's actually important in with these kinds of decisions. It's not who's going to be the next king. It's going to be who can lead and give a better life to the most amount of people. And uh, right now, it's it it doesn't feel like like that kind of decision. I'm glad to, to be able to have this conversation with you. And I don't know. My intentions and, and my hopes with all of this is just to ensure that we leave <coughs> leave the potential for a better life for all of these people. And that's all that I'm wanting from this from this experience and that I I I, I hope that we can stay together based on those bonds that our, our parents gave us because I think we think the same way when it comes to this regard. Yeah, I agree. And no matter what happens, we'll always be brother and sister. Yes. <laughs> all right. Let's go let's go see brother now. Doran comes back to you with the biggest smile on his face. Wait, what do you wait? What are the names, Jonah? I don't know any of these names. Okay, Doran is the uh, is your gay boyfriend slash spy. Oh, okay. Doran Flowers. Oh, you are not going to believe what Jade did. What? What did she do? So, I've been noticing whenever she goes to gatherings, she usually takes a little bit of food back with her. Now, there's nothing suspicious about that. It seems kind of normal. But, but, before she left on her trip, she bought six days worth of food and water. And now, I thought she was buying provisions for the trip. But she brought them back to her room and then left them there. Now, I i don't know, this may sound crazy, but if I were going on a six-day trip, I would not leave an ungodly amount of food in my room unless someone was going to eat it. Oh? Now, I don't... Is she feeding someone? I don't know. I don't know. She's not here, meaning her room won't have any guards. Well, I'm wary of poisoning all that food, like, if she's not going to eat it. Jesus, I wasn't suggesting you poison all the food. I was suggesting we check out her room. Okay, 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 fine. Gregory! <laughs> I'm just messing with you. Those were not the words of the man I fell in love with. Fiona and Brian have headed off to see their brother. After three days of traveling, you make it to High Garden. It the beautiful castle rises up in front of you. It's good to be back home. King's Landing is fine, but this is where you were raised. This is this is where you belong. Everyone's thrilled to see you. They welcome you in, all clapping, very happy. Um Your brother is standing there. He's got guards around him, but he's pretty out and exposed, something you're not really used to people doing in King's Landing. It's a little more dangerous there. Another thing that just makes you feel at home, you feel safer. Dear brother, dear sister, it's so good to see you all. How have you been? How is King's Landing? Tell me everything, please. I'm so bored and lonely. Everyone is gone. And after everything that happened with George, it's it's been tough. Yes, yes. It has been tough. It's been very tough. 
let's actually why we're here to talk with you is there's a bit of a job opportunity for you, brother. A bit of a job opportunity? Oh, please. Yes, tell do you me. Want to tell him, do you want to tell him, Jade? Yeah. Um, Tyrion was thinking that maybe you would be fit to be the new king. Is that right? Yeah. <laughs> Tyrion? He wants yeah. me. Oh. Oh. King? Not hand of the king or. No. Some... no king. Well. King Blackwater, that sounds pretty good, don't you think? It, is it a sure thing? Am I. Am I definitely in? How am I. How in am I? On a scale of in to. Well, it's in, but there's other people who are also yes, in. Yes. Right now, at least Tyranny said that he needed another day to think of someone, but to us within the small council, he hasn't mentioned any other names. It's not guaranteed, but he hasn't mentioned any other names. He's well, talked briefly about maybe getting help from, from the North for a recommendation, but once again, the North is not a name. Well, except it is a name, but not of a person. So and if it is of a true. person, the parents aren't good at naming. You always <laughs> had a way with West. words, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I mean, who would who would rule here then? I. Well, I mean, Jade was next up in the uh, in the line to take to take the family estate. <laughs> She's a elder. woman. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I love you, Jade, but I want to guess mean, from far away. I mean, well, <laughs> you. I don't, I don't see a problem with it, brother. There's no problem with that. I mean, if you're f fine with it, then... I'm fine with it, yes. it's. I it's mean, I, of course, love women. I have no <laughs> problems with it, obviously. I was just... <laughs> this was a test! I wanted to see if you had a problem with it, Relevan. Oh, uh, absolutely. You not. passed! Ah, thank you, brother. Thank you, brother. Great test. Yes. God, if... George should be the next one to take it, but I... Don't see that happening. Yeah, since we can't even find up. him. He did blow a lot of things up and is very gay. He's very gay. <laughs> and we are God. not okay with that. We're okay with women, but not homosexuality. <laughs> pyromaniacs are fine, but gay pyromaniacs are yeah, Well, I mean, what what noble hasn't blown some stuff up? Am I right? Am I... Ladies. Lady. You're Sorry, right. I haven't talked to people in a while. It's it's been lonely. But the people love me! And he, like, points out to the crowd and they, uh. <laughs> 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 You're getting the feeling he does this a lot to feel less lonely and miserable. Well, brother, I, I don't mean to be blunt, but actually I don't need to be blunt about this. Why don't you come back with us? Yes! Oh, goody! Yes, let's go! Um, but, 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 but. Do you think that this kind of attitude and enthusiasm is fit for a king? You're talking act, acting like a kid on Christmas right now. You need to bring it down a little bit. Right? Look, Christmas. you're talking about butts so much, I would think you're George. <laughs> oh, good, it's because he turned out to be homosexual. Jade, Jade was he like this when, when we left? <laughs> I don't quite remember him being <laughs> just like this. I think it's really getting... Let's crazy. go be king! <laughs> well, not quite yet, but... What's Davos, going? you're in charge. Let's roll, people. Oh, when can we leave? Five. We just got here. We literally just got here like three minutes ago. <laughs> yes, and I've been here for years. <laughs> well, don't you need to take supplies and some of your people? Do I? We need, to, we need to take gifts for the commoners if their new king is coming. So true. So true. What are common people like? Cake? Um, Should we get them a cake? We can let them eat cake. What do you think? Nice. We can let them eat cake? I think the common people... Who wants like cake? Yeah! <laughs> we, could, we could build them a new building. We could uh, give them money. Oh, let's build an orphanage. They love orphans. Um, no, no, it's actually quite the opposite. We want to take down the amount of orphans we have. Okay. I mean, yes, we could give more funding to the orphanage. Yeah, what? I'm saying we build them another house because I'm an orphan. You're an orphan. Jade's an orphan. We can play that up. We're going to be like, yo, we are just humble orphans from way down under. How, how do you That's feel true. about building an orphanage, Jade? Do you think it's a good idea? Um, I mean... How many orphans do we actually have within the city? 
uh, let me recall back on my knowledge of living in the city yeah. for a long period of time. And There's a I... lot of homeless orphans, Brian. Oh, okay. No, this seems like a great idea then. Okay. Well, I mean, how would you stop me? That's I am true. your you king now. You are king now. All right. And as your king, my first order of business shall be let's go immediately. I cannot wait to get out of here. Shall we? We shall. Uh, Okay. We shall, your majesty? What did I miss? Yet. Don't, don't, don't push your luck here, buddy. <laughs> nah, fair. Okay, let's go. He knows that he isn't king, at least I told him that. <laughs> he should know he isn't king. <laughs> um, but hopefully he calms down on the trip over. Hopefully. So wait, who's going to be in charge of the estate while we're all gone? We should really fix that. Oh, yeah, I got somebody. Who does Look, I'm gonna be honest with you right now. I don't do anything here. <laughs> Me being gone will be a convenience. I am like the worst ever. Like, Wait, who who does all of the work? No, oh, Davos over there. Davos. Hello. It's he was he was there when you guys were there. He's just basically an assistant. He was an assistant to your father, and apparently he's been a big help for your brother. Davos, is there anybody else that you think could run the place well if if you were to leave? If I were to leave, could anybody else run the place? At least for a little while, not yes, permanently. I, I think my my son could do a great job. You have a son, Davos. Why did you? <laughs> That's so funny. I've never met him. Yes, you have. Why don't you so. come with us? <laughs> King's Landing, you'd, you'd bring me. Yes, well, why not? It seems uh, as if... I, sure, I would, I would I, be honoured. I, I, I'd like to message him. You know, if you're the one running this place and it's going so well, why not try to throw your hat in there? No, I, I, I could never. I'm, I'm just not... I, I'm not the face for ruling. I, well, let's just see what happens then. hand of the king sounds... Very nice. Um, I, I'd like to I'd like to message Fiona. So what's your hot take on dropping off our brother halfway through and then just taking Davos and saying that this is our brother? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Brian, that's a really good idea and I love it, but there's no way in hell that works. <laughs> Davos is like 80. <laughs> oh. Damn it, Jonah. Sorry. <laughs> as good of an idea as that was. It's, and people know what your brother looks like. He's kind of a celebrity. Oh. Okay. Well, Davos, at the very least, um, God just talked to me briefly and said that plan was horseshit. Um, but you could be an advisor to our brother if he somehow manages to become king. Yes, I would be honored. I, I'll leave my son to run affairs here and we can we can go. All right. Let's see how that goes. <laughs> brother, brother, what have I told you about pointing at people? It's very rude. <laughs> Look, I know he looks very funny, but that I'd doesn't like, mean you can point at him. I'd like to grab my brother's nose and then run off with it. <laughs> got your nose! No! Please! Stop! Jade! Jade! Did you... Stop him! Let's, let's go. Why don't we go? The people are waiting for you. I don't have my nose. I can't leave without... He's no, going to give it... Jade, no, tell him just, to give it no, back. You actually, look, you actually have your nose. It was just a joke. I know. Sense. I know I have my nose. I'm not four anymore. But it's the gesture. It's I am to be gesture. king now. I am king elect. The gesture. <laughs> oh, okay. I'd like to throw him back his nose. Thank you. Does he catch it? No. <laughs> he goes and like rustles around on the ground a little bit. What's it back? Okay, let's go. Davos, you're coming. Come on. <laughs> Are you guys ready to head back? Yeah. Ooh, let's play road trip games. Oh gosh. I love these. Let's say a dead peasant is 20 points. And okay, now we'll cut over to everybody else. You guys have three days in a carriage with your brother. Yes. <laughs> have fun. Wait, are they going to be gone for a full six days yeah. altogether then? Yeah. Wow. Okay. Wow, so much time. That's like a lot. Actually, yeah. probably closer to five because they're leaving the same day they got there. I, all I want to do is I want to plan the, um, the ceremony. Oh, okay. 
Well, I know what that means. I'm figuring I'm gonna put it in the. I'm gonna put it in the um, arena. In the right? dragon pit. Yeah, where it was last time. Okay. Smart, smart. Keep with tradition. People will like that. All the unrest. I figure I'll put a lot more guards around. Gregory, just the person that I wanted to talk to. I would like an update on the um, uh, followers of, of light situation. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. What happened? Do you have any news for me from my people? Yes, your people have returned. They have infiltrated the cult successfully. Um, it wasn't hard. They just went to one of the street meetings, which is where these things are being held. They just held in the lower districts of the city and just common people come and watch. The leader, as far as they can tell, is a woman named Relia. She's a red priest who is very charismatic and has seemed to have won over everyone she's spoken to. She is now talking a lot, a lot of trash on Lord Commander Eldrick's flowers, calling him a traitor to the Lord of Light, and kind of getting the people riled up against him a little bit. A little bit. Now, not without directly saying that they need to take him down, just saying that he's bad. So, is she saying that about any other people in the group, or just Bert? Just Bert. Okay, and did where'd you say this was happening? Underground? No, just in the lower districts of the city. It's not, a, it's oh. like very out in the open. They're not trying to hide it. So I guess we should plan a raid on where they are? Yeah, you just need to find where they are. They just crop up at random points in the districts. Ma Mr. Uh, or Master Master Gregory, if you could have one of your spies attempt to pinpoint the location where uh, the high priestess is staying. Where are you having this conversation? The gardens. Well, are there any people here? There are a lot of people here, but they're kind of just milling about. Edge. Yeah. Okay, Bert, I'm going to message you in my head and tell you this stuff. Okay. Once that and once my my ceremony planning is good... Now I need to talk to my guardy people. I figure all of my people know since I'm so close with all of All them. of your close people, yes. Yes. I would say probably 90% of the guards know, right? Yeah. Because they're all very I mean, loyal to you. Yeah. And my people aren't in on the, um, my people aren't, aren't in on that assassination, are they? No. No. They no, just know, they don't, they, I also assume they don't know you're the leader. Unless you do tell them that you're the leader of the rebellion. I think I think my top guys would know. Your top guys would like know. My right hand man. Top, okay. You know what I mean? I'm not sure who my right hand man is, but that's okay. Whoever that is. But um, I want to go to them and I want to like have like a meeting of all of them or all like the, the like captains or whatever. Okay, you want to get them all together. And I want to tell them tell their men that you know funding has been cut, but these are just temporary measures and. Um, they are an important means to an end. And, Lord uh, Commander. Will... Lord yes. Commander, I don't, I don't mean to interrupt, but there's someone here who really would like to speak with you. Let them in. He opens... Well, actually, direct them to my my personal quarters, I guess. Personal quarters. Bert, you head back to your personal quarters after you've met with all of them. They they all seem understanding about the pay cuts. Oh, and I, I, I make sure that I tell them specifically that things will be different after um after the, the new king. The okay. New king, yeah. yeah, very nice, very nice. Okay. Bert. Um a little while later you hear uh a knock on the door. Door commander. She's here. She's Send her in. The door opens, and Bert, you see a woman standing in the doorway, which is not the person you expected to see at all. She has long, red flowing red hair and the robes of a red priestess. This is the red woman that people have been talking about. Hello, Lord Commander. Hello, red priestess. It's good to see you, too. I didn't say it was good to see you. I can I see the future. Hello. I see that you will say this. Oh, really? At what point will I say this? Please mm. inform me. Possibly after we talk for a while. Possibly after I say, Dower 
Vala, Ixis, Sirje. Interesting. I didn't realize we had room for religious zealots. Look, we are working towards the same thing. Now tell me. Tell A me, ruler chosen does... by the people. The one destined by the Lord of Light. Where does your disinformation and your cult and your brainwashing fit into democracy? Look, the people need to believe in you before they can believe in a cause. And it's very hard to make people believe in something that's human, something that is imperfect, something that they fully understand. It's easier to make them believe in something like a god. You can't rule by fear. You have to rule by charity, by kindness. <sighs> Look, there's not enough money and not enough kindness to go around to be charitable and kind all the time. Oh, is there not? Is there not? Look. Are we not sitting in a palace on a cliff rebuilt from the ashes of a mad woman who burnt it all down using my, and all of this costing millions and millions of borrowed coins to rebuild yes coins borrowed from the noble houses that earn the money that's where the money comes from if we completely disestablish the system we need the people to be ready to believe in something new the seven are you outdated. Don't do that by burning people to death. <sighs> Look. You don't do that by causing mass fear that if they don't follow your word to the precise letter that they'll be punished for eternity. That's not. That's not democracy. <sighs> Everything that is good about this kingdom came from fire. Is that not enough to believe in the Lord of Light? Deor vale sirge. No man is best. All right. She. I would like you to never say those words again and to never see you in my city again. The message received. But, hey, one more thing. If you won't work with me, you work against me. I will continue to preach to the people that you are evil. And once your rebellion happens, even if you win, they'll never follow you. You'll be cast out. You'll be the first head to roll once the nobles are overthrown. I'll make Don't sure of it. Woman. How many people will be left to rule when you've burnt them all to death? The ones that are meant to. All right, and she'll leave. Um, I'm trying to figure out if the package that Bert was talking about came in or not. Oh, yes, that has come in. And did that? Did they do what I instructed them to do? I told them to look inside of it and then close it back up and then deliver it to the armor. Okay, 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 okay. Um, yes, they have done that. And what was inside of it? Lots and lots of wine. What? Yes. Is he just getting Tyrion wine? <laughs> <laughs> okay. It, was that it? Was That was it. Did they, like, look at the wine closely? Yeah. They drank some of it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, they drank a lot of it. Uh, they drank some of it, and then it just felt right to drink more of it. Yeah. Uh, understandable. Okay. Well, while I'm down there, Jonah, you said the whole perk of being the shipmaster is that I know people around the world and I've got pirate friends because I'm Greybeard or whatever. Greyjoy, Grey yeah. Joy. Can I call on them to help me investigate this island out there? Yeah, you can. Okay, Do you want to send the like Drake, Greyjoys? Okay. To say, like, I need to figure out what's going on with this island. Be careful. A ship went down going to look at it. Okay. And like, you're sending Greyjoys? They going for it? And Send All right. Joys and tell them to keep it as quiet as possible. Okay. Jo Jonah, can I just... It sounds It sounds like there's a dragon out there. I'm it does sound like you. that. It and does sound terrifying. like that. That is terrifying. At this point, I'm so deep in not telling everyone else. 
then I don't know how I'm going to tell them. You could just go there. You could just you could go there no. and see for yourself, Sam. No, I can't, Jonah. I can't. <laughs> Sam, do you want to tell the Dr- Greyjoys that you suspect that it is a dragon? I want to mention that it could maybe be a dragon. Well, uh, Lord, then do you want us to bring the scorpions? You have... I don't even know what that means. The giant fucking crossbows that the Greyjoys used to fight the dragons in the last war. We killed one. Yeah, bring a couple. Bring a couple, bring a couple. but don't get too close to the city. Okay, so okay. That would be we'll keep... Alright, we approach won't tell it, people... from the other side. Right, right. Yes. Okay, approach him from the other side, bring the scorpions, shoot the dragon. Yes? Yes, but don't make it seem like we're bringing giant weapons. What? Okay. All right, all right, all right. There's no way. Okay. Yeah, yeah, all right. We'll cover him with sheets. (laughs) (laughs) Sam, you next, a little while, you see a bunch of ships sailing out with giant sheet shaped (laughs) scorpions. Sailing out into the harbor. Good, 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 good. Um, I am just no, like Ryan, slightly oh, overwhelmed. No. Oh my Jonah, god! I want to roll to join. Oh, Ella wants to join. Go for Jonah. it, Ella. Roll. Two. Sorry. Bye. Bye. <laughs> okay. What's up, Sarah? Has um has Sansa written you back? What? Sansa has written you back. Sarah She says Dear Lady Mormont, it's very good to hear from you. These are very troubling times. But I'm afraid I know nothing about what happened with Bran. I was greatly looking forward to seeing him, and then he never arrived, and then the next thing I heard there was a funeral, and it was too late for me to attend. It's good to hear that his body will be returned. I am skeptical about the parade, however. It seems like a gross waste of money for you to parade around my dead brother. But whatever you at the council think is best. Yeah, I agree. It's weird. Um, okay, so I would like to make some poison. Can I just do this? Yeah, like... you already have a ton of poison. Oh, cool. So, um, and I would actually also carry it around in like a common sort of what kind of poison is this, Jonah? Is it like poison that kind of takes a while until it's up to you? You have fast acting poison, slow acting poison, whatever, whatever floats your goat. Okay, I would like to have some slow acting poison in a little bottle on my belt. That okay, sounds good. Just, just to be ready with it, Fiona. Let's let's talk. Yeah. Let's talk. Um, <laughs> I want to join. I want to join. I don't want to join. Okay, roll, Ella. Okay, I'm on the going. road. Yeah, we're drivers to spy. <laughs> Eight. Eight. Bye, Ella. I really need to scheme. Yes. Like, with other people. Okay, with other people. You can scheme with Brian and your brother right now. Because those are the only two people around. With. Wait, my brother? Yeah. Oh, not George, your other one. No, 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 not George. That's not what I thought. You could scheme with him while Brian's sleeping. Can I scheme with him? Yeah, you can scheme with him. Okay, I'm gonna scheme with him. Um, I'm just a bit worried because the conversation that me and Brian had, it feels like he has alliances and loyalties to other people that are not me. I'm not included in. So I'm worried about that. You think Ralevin is... Not with us, like not with the family, like not down. No, the... he's not with us. Not and with us. I kept repeating over and over again, no matter what happens, I hope we'll still be okay. I think, I think, I don't think, man, I think he's going to do something bad to me. Well, we can't let that happen. And he's definitely scheming with other people. What are you suggesting, Jade? I don't know. Do we kill him right now and then blame it on... With that brute of a car stock here? We'd have to get rid of him first. Ah! Shoot. Is there a way to do that, though? <sighs> I mean, I but didn't how could... bring any guards. I just I just left. Wish you'd told me about this earlier. <laughs> yeah, but... Why did we leave right away? What were you thinking? <sighs> oh, no. But... <sighs> Look, Shoot, I... we'll keep an eye on him. I don't know if we have that much time. 
He's been scheming with people before we left. Well, I mean, there's no better time than now. Winter's coming in no. a bit. It's not for a while. <laughs>